I'm going to be telling you guys some weight loss tips and this is part of my 20 pound weight loss journey. Tip number two, now you guys are going to absolutely love this one. Hello daily student family, welcome back to another video, I hope you're all doing well, I hope you're all doing good and if you're new here, hello my name's Kimberly and I hope you subscribe, we are now at 60,000 guys, you are the most amazing weight loss family I could ever ever have and the messages that you guys give me every single day to tell me that this channel is changing your lives, so overwhelming and I literally thank every single one of you for being part of this journey because honestly it makes me so overwhelmed every single day and turn your bell notifications on so you get notified every single time that I upload. We are now a daily video channel so if you want to be part of that do subscribe guys. Now as you guys can tell from the title of today's video I'm going to be telling you guys some weight loss tips and this is part of my 20 pound weight loss journey. Although there is something I need to tell you we are now over 20 pounds in my weight loss journey. We are almost at 30 pounds all together and I want to do a video all on that that's coming very very soon but today I'm going to give you some more tips and this is part of a series because I've decided you guys really enjoy my weight loss um, tips videos so this is going to be episode five of the series and I'm going to do one of these videos every single week and the rest of the week is going to be challenges and fun other stuff like that but I wanted to make sure at least one of the videos out of the five videos I do a week is dedicated to the weight loss tips that you guys absolutely love. All the tips are going to be completely different every single time for new things tips and tricks that you guys can use. There are millions and millions of tips and tricks that I'm dying to share with you guys so you want to be part of every single episode and and if you like guys would like to come over and follow me on my personal Instagram page we are doing a 10,000 steps a day starting on the 15th of September where we're going to be doing it for 15 days as a mini month challenge and I'm going to be doing a video showing you guys the results of me walking 10,000 steps a day which is crazy because I've lost so much weight on it which is why we're nearly at there part of the reason why we're nearly at a 30 pound weight loss journey channel now but I'm going to be showing you all of that but if you guys want to be a part of that do come over and follow me on there but if you'd also like to come over and follow me on my personal Instagram page I'd absolutely love to have you guys on there as well. So getting straight into the tips today I have seven tips for you guys that I have never mentioned before that I thought you know what it would be really really interesting to share these with you guys because a lot of you guys will be saying that you're still struggling or you need other methods because the ones that you're currently using or the conventional ones that we get told all the time just aren't working and I will tell you this and let you in on a secret now that a lot of my weight loss journey wasn't guided by the conventional weight loss tips because those are the tips that had me stuck for three years just yo-yo dieting all the time so today is going to be some completely different ones that I have used that I have in my notebook of tips that you guys might actually really find useful now tip number one so a lot of the time we are told to in our healthy eating regime or in selecting foods to eat for our weight loss journey to eat loads of vegetables and in fact swap out the carbohydrates and eat loads and loads of vegetables however with that I'll actually honestly tell you guys that this is the wrong mentality to have feel your plate with the vegetables that space where your carbs used to be just vegetables 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 up now let me tell you this is the wrong mentality to have first of all you need carbs and you guys have heard me reiterate how carbs are so important to actually keeping yourself full and it's to do with the molecular structure the slow release all those sorts of things that I've gone into in previous videos however here's why actually overfilling yourself with vegetables can be the reason why at the end of the week you aren't seeing results or even it might work for a week because your body is now shifting to the reduction of the fats and etc that comes from the carbs however it's not going to last long and actually might see yourself gaining weight or not losing weight at all what you really want to focus on with this is to not overfill yourself with vegetables just like any other food group when it comes to vegetables you still actually have to make sure you're monitoring how many of those you actually have I'll give you this one tip for every vegetable there is a glycemic index or glycemic load that is recommended for your daily intake and whether you're having broccoli whether you're having parsnips carrots look at your glycemic index of the value that that one holds and the recommended amount for you on a day-to-day -day basis. What you can do with this information is to make sure not overfilling your vegetables. A lot of people don't actually realize that vegetables are carbohydrates and then what that means at the end of the day is those carbohydrates end up turning into sugar. So not only will this add to your daily sugar intake just in the same way that carbohydrates will, it will actually spike your insulin. So you can have an entire bowl of vegetables and wonder why you're still hungry and blame it on the fact that you're eating vegetables and vegetables aren't effective and they don't keep you full but actually what the vegetables are doing is creating that sugar spike that sugar craving and not many people realize that people associate a healthy lifestyle or a healthy diet with eating loads of vegetables which is the complete opposite of what it actually is so really watch your vegetables and look up the glycemic load and index per vegetable
vegetables to get a real narrative on how much is your recommended daily intake per vegetables. No more giant bowls of vegetables. We thought it was a cheat code once upon a time, but it really is doing the opposite for your weight loss results. Tip number two, now you guys are going to absolutely love this one. I love this one. And that is actually doing a carb refeed. Now, a lot of the time we can see these stagnant weeks where our weight loss is just not going down, even if you're doing all the right things. And I'm talking about exercising. I'm talking about eating your daily intake. I'm talking about really leaning down your intake to a healthy, sustainable outlook. Now, what can happen for us a lot of the time is our body will get too used to those 1,200 calories that you're having every day. And it can also get too used to the fruit, vegetables, protein, the lean and healthiness of your diet. It will just get too used to it. This will slow down your calorie and burning, your calorie process. And you guys know that in 3,500 calories is equal to one pound and your body will end up going through that process a lot slower because it just gets too used to it, even if it's in a deficit. So what you need to do is a calorie refeed every once in a while. Now for me, I normally do this every two weeks. And for those who don't know what a calorie refeed is, let me enlighten you because it's gonna brighten up your day. A calorie refeed is basically choosing a day, depending on what frequency you guys would like to do, but you guys know I do every two, once every two weeks, where you eat more calories than you ever usually do. Hallelujah, yes, you heard it right. More calories than you normally usually do. And what this will do is it will jumpstart the body or what shake up the body to be like, okay, for this day, I'm going to have to try and burn these calories, these carbohydrates, this heavier load of carbohydrates more so than I usually do. And it'll shake it up to jumpstart the metabolic system to wake it up slightly. Because in a way, to put it in simple terms, it's almost as if your metabolic rate has gone to sleep or is not doing as fast burning as it normally does because it's just too used to it. Tip number three, and now this is one a lot of people don't actually realize when going into healthy eating there's one thing that people get stuck on what to eat and it can be very difficult when you're out and about and you haven't prepared your healthy food to try and find something that's going to be sustainable and healthy however the one thing that can be detrimental to the success of someone's weight loss journey is actually having too much variety in your food too much variety in your food is actually linked to overeating that is because your body and your mind gets excited of this new platter this new plate of exciting food that you then want to polish and clean clean off the entire plate, we have all been there. However, it is so important that they use this as a tip and I religiously use this as a tip. Like people at university in my workplace know that I can bring the same lunch every single day for like two weeks. And that is because having a staple for at least two weeks, so having a staple breakfast that you have for two weeks and then change after the two weeks as opposed to changing every single day will control yourself to not overeating because chances are by day five, you won't I don't want to necessarily use the word get bored of it, but you'll be familiar with it enough to know, okay, I've tasted it, I've experienced it, I don't necessarily have to finish it all. So guys, the next tip is one of my favorites and it's been one of the most effective that I use all the time and that is to eat 20 minutes before your main meal or your lunch. The reason for this is we normally end up overeating or over portioning our lunch and dinner. When you portion your food on a very hungry stomach, you will over portion and we have this prerogative that we need to finish the entire plate. So once that food is hitting your plate, your mind will tell you that you need to finish it all. So one thing that is so important about that that actually connects to the metabolic rate and your hunger levels is actually having a tiny snack 20 20 minutes before your main meal. You will end up being fuller than you even realize. So by the time it comes to a portioning, let alone eating your main meal, you won't feel like you need to have half as much of that food. And it's just the way the metabolic system works and the way your hunger system works. It takes 20 minutes for the body and mind to register fullness. So if you're registering fullness over gobbling and scoffing a massive meal, you're gonna think you needed all of that to even feel full, but actually you needed way less than that. Tip number four, now all for all my shoppers, I want you to go and buy a pair of skinny jeans now or grab a pair of skinny jeans that are in your wardrobe that either fit way too tightly or that once used to fit. The methodology between this is that the scales can be so deceiving sometimes and sometimes I don't always recommend scales as a good way to measure weight loss because remember, there's so much more to weight loss. When you're a personal trainer or someone who is studying weight and training and all that sort of type of thing, you'll know that mass, fat percentage is way more important than what is on the scale 
scales because someone at the two exact same weights can be can look 10 times lean on one side and 10 times large on one side because of fat to muscle ratio with this i want you guys to go and buy a pair of skinny jeans every single friday i want you to retry and wear those skinny jeans i want you to squeeze and try and put those jeans on week by week by week i want you to see the changes and the drop of your skinny jeans because it really really works at the exact same weight and i previously did a video on this if you guys want to go and check that out i will link it below where i showed you two pictures of me at the exact same weight and the difference is massive because the fat percentage changed the same exact weight can be the difference of two dress sizes so when it comes to your skinny jeans you could actually end up fitting into your skinny jeans after four weeks while still being the same exact weight last but not least guys maybe i'll make this tip five but you do not have to lose weight to have a value now i'm going to be doing a whole documentary type video on my 30 pound almost i can't believe we said that 30 pound almost weight loss journey i'm so excited to show you with videos pictures everything is going to be added into this video I've been saving up and stocking up all my information for this video and I hope to bring it out very very soon but keep your notifications on for my channel but you don't have to lose weight to lose value and I go into all that detail that you guys are beautiful as you are right now and I'm going to be going into the importance of all of this as your self-esteem motivation and uh, from first-hand experience very very soon now, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video don't forget to come over and follow me on my inspirational fitness page on Instagram I'd love to have every single one of you on there remember we're doing a 10,000 steps a day challenge starting on the 15th of September for a mini step step challenge to let us lose those pounds because school university and work are starting back up and we do not want to be going back with our quarantine weight but also come over and follow me on my personal Instagram page thank you guys so much for 60,000 I love every single one of you guys you guys are amazing and like subscribe turn your bell notifications on I always comment on everyone's comment who was here in the first 20 four hours of the video going live i do find it very difficult to answer dms sometimes because over a hundred a day with university work and my nine to five it's really hard to fit in enough time to go through every single one so come to my video first 24 hours every single comment is answered any single query you have i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys very very soon bye guys